What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a new video for you. This is the college edition since I'm on the laptop, on the go, shitty equipment, but it's never a bad time to make a video. So we're doing, should you pull the latest banner, Madara Uchiha. So this is mostly for the global players since this banner has been out for some time. And then there's still heat on a Kakazu out here in JP. But tomorrow releases Madara Uchiha to all of us. And what does that mean for us, right? For those of you saving pearls, is this the banner you want to spend? So, let's put it straight. I can make this video a whole another five seconds long and just tell you, yes, you want to pull on this banner. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys. No, not really. But, yes, you do want to pull on this banner. And I'll just give you a quick rundown why. One, you got the nine step banner. So if you do have the pearls to spare, not everyone does, but if you do got the pearls to spare, 9 multi summons for 380 pearls versus 450 pearls. So in general, this banner is really good to pull on, right? Because you got, you just got a bunch of top tier characters. You got Madra himself who dropped. Uh, if you want to know more about him, uh, be sure to check out my character analysis video. Uh, I'll try to, I don't know how to work links in this, this thing, but I'll, I'll try to put up picture of the thing so you can click on but either way uh, go check out that if you guys want to know more about him you got Utakata the bubble man six star Jinchuriki really solid Kazekaki Gara uh, he's good nothing broken but he's really good one till Naruto beast top tier card probably the best card in the game actually I'm making a top top five video so stay tuned for that and Minato Namikaze the father of the beast so amazing card as well he isn't used as much but i'm pretty sure he's gonna get a limit break soon and that'll put him up there oh what did i press okay i'm gonna try to keep this video around five minutes because if i don't this is the trial version of my thing so that the stupid app will turn off on its own and uh, it'll make me sad but here we go blazing fest is the banner that comes around maybe once a month uh g give or take uh but pretty much this banner is the exclusive cards, right? You got these really top tier cards that uh, will only be here while the banner's out, and then they'll go away when the banner leaves, and you won't be able to get them again. So almost every single, pretty much every single character in this banner is is worth it to get. And you have the nine steps, right? So the way it looks like, it's the first two, the first three cost fifty. The third one is a guaranteed. You get, you get one of those four. Uh, the fourth one is a discounted for twenty five pearls. Fifth one is normal. Sixth one is just a general guaranteed. Seventh is five pearls. Eighth is regular. And then the ninth one, you're guaranteed one of those five. So unfortunately, you aren't guaranteed Madara himself. You were guaranteed Utakata on on global when this happened. But you never know. This is I am showing you through the the JP side. When this drops on global, it might be a little bit different. But either regardless of whether this aspect changes or not this banner is a hundred percent worth it to pull if you're looking at Hidan and Kakasu don't pull just don't right if you waited this long and you're wondering if they're worth it they're not uh, you know they might be good cards if you get a bunch of them but Blazing Fest is the way to go and I'm gonna just show off the wedding banner uh, this Hinata is extremely good the this banner even has a rate up right but the problem is it's just with Blazing Fest literally coming out tomorrow for Global, it's it's not really worth it. I believe this banner will still be out for another day. Yeah, yeah, another day. So, we are waiting on what will drop on JP next. We don't know what's going to happen there, but if you have pearls, just use them all on Blazing Fest. Uh, there's really nothing else to say about it uh, of course let me go over the rates the cards banner cards are always one percent and for a total of nine cards you got you know you got a nine percent banner rate as you can see right there uh, and then you get a six percent overall gold rate oh trial version ending okay got 60 seconds to wrap this up so you have an overall uh, there's 65 other gold cards between unawakened six stars and awakened four stars so you have a chance of you have a you know six percent chance of pulling one of those nine percent overall for a uh, 
just a banner card, which is really good, right? It's like uh, essentially you're guaranteed a Blazing Fest card in a multi summon. Not, not really. Don't, don't take, don't take that as law. I'm just saying statistically, it, let's say it's 10%. You got a one in 10 chance. You summon 10 cards, so you have a chance of getting a Blazing Fest card every single multi summon. And for all you know, one of them or maybe more of them can be Madara himself. So pretty much, he's busted. He's pretty busted. He's not that busted. He's busted. He might be busted. And that's going to end off the video. Make sure you guys pull. And uh, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the short video. But uh, I'll make another one when the uh, next JP banner comes out. So we know what's coming up for JP. This is mostly for Global to let them know that... You know, in case, uh, in case you don't keep up with JP and you don't know all about the hype, uh, it's just to let Global know that yes, this card is worth pulling for. Madra is in contention for the number one spot in this game between One Tail Naruto. That's how good of a card he is. And regardless of Madra being good or not, this banner is the banner where you want to spend your pearls on. So, hopefully that's enough uh, to convince you guys to pull, and I'll see you guys next time.